Oh, yeah, good, good win. Obviously, uh, second half was very good. We had a fair bit of possession there, and uh, you know, got some nice tries. So, tough game, really. I thought, um, you know, the first you know, 60 minutes of the game was, was uh, a bit of end-to-end -end stuff at times too. But we uh, very pleased with our defensive effort. Uh, only conceded four points as well. So, uh, and the, you know, the guys are backed up from Origins. So it's a good team, I think. You started pretty up tempo, didn't you? You must have been happy with the, the way you came out of the blocks. Yeah, well, look, I thought we got a good start, and uh, yeah, and then we, yeah, we, I suppose we had some opportunities. Uh, we were a little bit patient, you know, with our attack and just wanted some field position. You know, got a couple of goal line dropouts, and to um, Cronulla's credit, they defended really well. I mean, it was hard to, to get through for any more points, but we, we didn't panic. And at half time, we we knew we had to lift a bit of intensity in the second half, and the boys were able to do that. We talked about. Um, you know, playing quick and uh, probably you know, improving our line speed defensively as well. So it, it meant that we um, we had a fair bit of possession uh, on the back of scoring some points. Playing 80 minutes has generally been a problem for you guys uh, this year. Do you feel you've turned the corner? You're starting to play the full 80? Oh, look, I'm turning corners week by week, really. We, we, we'll get into you know, Canberra next week and look forward to that. Uh, so this, this it's a critical period uh, before our next buy. We've got uh, Canberra and then we play Manly here on a Monday night without our origin players. and. And so it's it's a time where we need to make a bit of a run uh, if we're going to you know, climb up the ladder. So, yeah, we'll enjoy the victory tonight against a side that's, that's been going well. And, um, yeah, we look forward to next week. Do you think we, the win potentially blossoms it a little bit, though, Neil? I mean, it was not it was fairly scrappy at times. And you added the ground. Oh, yeah, it was. It, it, you know, in the end, we, we kicked away to a comfortable win. Um, and and our, when we need a for and against is important to us. So, uh, to be able to keep them to four points is important to, to not let them you know, get a couple of late tries or a late try and we, we defended well on our line and uh, I thought the game was scrappy on the back of some big defensive plays too. I thought uh, there was some committed defence coming in on, on their on their ball carriers and we you know, we forced a few errors. Um, yeah, and then and then our kicking game was, was on song at different times too to get some repeat sets. So yeah, you know, Ray Thompson, 80 minutes. I thought, you know, he got a knock early and hung in there. And uh, you know, I thought Thumple was very strong. You know, Matty Scott up front, and uh, both our, you know, starting front rows ran a good metre. So, you know, Jono can play off the back of that, and uh, it's good to see Kane get over for a couple of tries as well. So, look, it, it's it's good to see some of our players working with our attack, so we're getting over the line um, with our field position, which we haven't been able to do. Yet. What about uh, James Tamo's return? Yeah, I thought he yeah he found the pace of it having a couple of weeks off. Uh, he was blowing there for a bit, but uh, once he you know, had a bit of a rest and come back out there, I thought he he had some good meters in him, um, and he'll he'll be better for that run. Jonathan, you were a bit ill before Origin. You still feeling the effects of that a little bit, or no, not at all. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Do you still have some room for improvement, JT's aside? Yeah, well, we're well, always we're looking to improve, yeah. and um, it was just a good team effort tonight. Uh, they were you know, the boys had the week off and, um, you know, got out of the blocks early and, but, uh, you know, it was committed in defence as well, so uh, it was just a great team effort. It's been nice, Neil, to think that, you know, you've had those struggles with five straight losses, but you've got two in a row now and you're only two points outside the eight. Yeah, it's, it's that sort of competition, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's waiting for, for a few sides to get on a run, you know, and to win a few in a row. And we put ourselves in the position we need, need to do that uh, in all reality. So it's it's still a step by step process. I mean, Canberra have got a very impressive record, winning 10, 10 I think, at home, uh, on the back of a probably a, you know, a heavy loss this weekend. So that'll be our next challenge. Challenge, but we you know enjoy the win for what it is tonight, and uh, you know we've got a seven day turnaround. So uh, again, uh, the guys have backed up from a from a heavy you know, from a tough Origin game. We've, we've done done a great job out there and played some good minutes for us. So. Um, you know, but it's a collective team effort, and there's some individual performances in there that, are, that I'm encouraged about. Uh, you know, Rob Louie in, in patches, but Ray Thompson as well. Uh, I thought he I thought he was very good for us. You sort of feel that that momentum is building. There's obviously room for improvement. The momentum's getting there. Yeah, look, as, as uh, Jonathan said, we, we're always looking to improve, and there's aspects of our attack as well that we we need to still polish up. Uh, you know, so uh, if we can 
you know, keep, we need to keep building. And uh, but I was very happy with our defensive committee. I think we've you know, backed up our effort from the Dragons game in, in a lot of areas of our defence. Uh, even though they rolled a little bit on possession, they had four penalties in a row, row there in the first half and we had to hold them you know, out. And I thought we were quite committed on our line and forced a few errors. You know, there was a, a story in the RAQ and Sydney paper today saying your peer should be back under the spotlight if you lost tonight. I mean, does that, oh, are you pretty pragmatic? It's on the, on the, sp <laughs> under the spotlight every time, isn't it? It goes week by week, so yeah. that's uh, old news. Do you think it eases the pressure a little? Oh, we can move on to next week. I mean, there's pressure to perform regardless, you know, and uh, we're in a position where we need to need to string a few together, and the boys are aware of that, and we... As I said all along, we, we haven't worked any you know, less hard or training from day one. We're all, all committed. Uh, there's good camaraderie within the group, uh, the group, good leadership with our senior players, and we've got a strong squad, so uh, you know, we need to turn that into victories. Jonathan, do you think that momentum's building for the team now? Yeah, I just think uh, you know, the bye come at a good time for us. Um, and like I said, you know, the boys are fresh coming into this game, and that's what we need to do. You know, we've got to a string of home games uh, coming up and you know we need to build on, on this momentum and hopefully string a few wins together and creep up the ladder. Now the goals you set in the group, are they short or long term? Like um, are you talking about playoffs or are you just taking it at a time? No, we, we just need to, uh, we know we've got seven out of ten at home, you know, six, so we, we've we know what our run's like, but uh, we, we, you know, we need to go to game at a time too and we, you know, continue to look to improve, you know, set some little standards within the team and you know, our players have got their standards anyway. They know, you know what they can achieve in the game. And, and if we're, we're achieving those individually, we're collectively as a team, we're going to get some results. So uh, there's, there's a way to go. There's still a work in progress, but it's, it's nice to have a couple of wins around a bye. Uh, as I said, this period is quite crucial to us, the next couple of weeks leading into the next bye as well around Origin. So you know, hopefully we can back that up next week and get on the road trip down to Canberra. We'll go down there uh, and train down there as well. We've got a 2 o'clock game Sunday afternoon. So... Uh, we'll get down there and, and test ourselves against the Raiders. Any concerns with Ashton on the squad? Uh, I didn't. I didn't really see it, but, um, but uh, we'll wait and see with him. Yeah. KT, just on, on the ongoing speculation about Neil, do you think two wins in a row enough's enough? I oh, know that players need to take some ownership of, of what we're doing out in the field, and I think the last couple of weeks have been great, and we need to build on that, and uh, not just take pressure off Neil, but take pressure off ourselves. What about you, mate? <laughs> your this is the longest press conference ever. <laughs> your bubba's born, three from three. Seven minutes. Good luck, uh, charm, boys. Yeah, good luck, charm. So hopefully that keeps yeah. on going. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys.